Good afternoon, this is Nicholas from Gandora Gaming, and it's time to discuss the Year of the Flame. Uh, Konami is on a roll when it comes to giving us fire base attribute, uh, just support in general for archetypes. Uh, if you don't know, fire is the weakest typing besides the Divine Beast. In my personal opinion, it goes uh, the technically Divine, then Fire, then Water, then Wind, then Earth, then Light, then Dark. But uh, overall, Fire is just a very lacking uh, attribute in general. Uh, like Pyros usually suck as an archetype or typing. And uh, there's not enough generic good Fire support that make the archetype strong. I mean, like... The last time we had a meta fire archetype was Salaman Great, and they weren't really a fire archetype. They just played fire cards uh, because they're fire typing, and that was really about it. Um, they were really cool, like you can add Ash back from your grave using a Sunlight Wolf, but that's really about it. But uh, Konami has decided, you know what? We're going to give fire some love. And uh, I gotta give them credit. They give us a shit ton of new cards. And I'm kind of want to go over that today. I'm going to go over what his Konami has given us when it comes to fire support for a lot of existing archetypes. Go over the new archetype in Valiant Souls. And I also want to go over the potential of the Fire King structure deck. Because it has a lot to live up to. So let's just go straight into this. So first things first, let's talk about the support cards you already have revealed. Um, the most lackluster ones would have to be Volcanics and Salamangrates. Now, even me saying they're lackluster is an understatement because I think there's still solid support. The Volcanic support is absolutely good for that deck. I just don't think it makes it better than, like, a lot of the other support cards we got this year. I think it makes it, like, a solid, cool, control burn deck. But as, like, modern-day Yu-Gi-Oh!, a solid, cool burn deck is just not enough. That has, like, maybe one board wipe in it, and that's about it. it, it it's a cool deck, and I think Volcanics definitely needed some love. But I definitely wish that the support was just a little bit more meta-impactful. Uh, same thing goes with Salad. I think that giving them tuners as extender monsters is absolutely great. But you didn't really give us any synchro payoff. Like, don't get me wrong. We have plenty of generic synchro payoff, but salads do kind of sometimes lock ourselves into fire. So the fact that we don't have like a really good fire synchro kind of sucks. So who knows? Maybe there's some like really, really powerful combos that people still haven't labbed out yet for salad. But right now, most of the cards that have got revealed are literally never going to be played or just pack filler. And, uh, we're just going to play the tuners as extenders in order to occasionally synchro climb, which is pretty cool, but definitely not a place we want to be in when it comes to legacy support, especially with one of the best fire archetypes that ever graced Konami. Now, let's talk about the good support now, because Konami has given us some really stupid support. First things first, Evozors. Uh, if you don't know Evozors, are just a really, really powerful and cool archetype from back in the day. Uh, they were never really meta-impactful. They kind of came out during Dragon Ruler format. And uh, they never really had their chance to shine. But uh, Konami has done themselves away. Their XYZ slash Maydeck monsters are absolutely insane. And their trap card's pretty powerful too. Like, this feels like Naturia when it comes to like giving them like three or four cards... That completely revolutionized the deck. Do I think it's like meta potentially broken? No. By itself. But I can definitely see it being splashed with dinosaurs or other fire based strategies. Then as an absolutely powerful engine. Which is really really solid. And it's definitely a good place to be. For an otherwise lackluster archetype. Uh, another lackluster archetype that just like fully like into the meta now. Battling boxers. I never thought I would see the day that battling boxer support is actually exist, and it's actually insane. Uh, the rank up trap, oh not rank up trap, the trap card's insane. The XYZs are insane. The main deck monster that's literally a special summon from hand, and then like rescue rabbit on legs. It's all kinds of stupid, and I absolutely love it. Don't get me wrong, it definitely needs some more like 
like support like by itself i think it's like tier two contention but being splashed in like decks like infernoble it can definitely give you a tier one deck that's absolutely terrifying and then speaking of infernoble holy shit their support stupid konami you really done it out of the ballpark you felt like hey look we came out with infernoble it became a synchro generic uh evil deck that hand looped you using uh using the uh Link Cross, the Rordon combos with uh, the whole, uh, how was it called? Smoke Grenade, the Thief bullshit. And we had to hit that shit because it wasn't fun or fair. So now we're giving you a second wave. And that second wave will not be abused for some bullshit generic strategies. And we're just going to make this deck absolutely powerful, which you did. Because holy crap, the Infernoble deck... Looks like probably one of the most consistent, like, powerful engines I've ever seen. These equip spells are absolutely stupid. Like, how consistent Fire Warrior as a whole absolutely becomes because of all these generic fire support cards in Infernoble itself. Like, Fire Warriors are just strong now. Like, this deck is just straight powerful and only gets better as time progresses so infernoble support is absolutely stupid and i can't wait to see its progression going forward from here uh another archetype i want to discuss really isn't like getting updated but it's like an archetype that actually came out this year it's definitely more earth dark than fire but it does have some fire cards and that would be vanquished soul so if you don't know vanquished souls is also a fire earth and dark archetype that got released this year and actually has some potential in the OCG. Uh, it's actually seen some meta-relevant play there. And it's definitely a really cool strategy. It's whole gimmick is that it revolves around about so many earth fires and darks. In order to board wipe and make some really, really powerful combos and resource lines. Uh, it's a really cool deck that has some huge potential. And I definitely can't wait to see where the second wave goes after Wild Survivors. Uh, that's really about it when it comes to like... The cards we have revealed so far when it comes to fire. Let me know if I'm missing anything. I know that uh, in the OCG, uh, we also uh, got Blaster back. So most likely we'll be getting Blaster on our next ban list as soon as we get that revealed. So hey, generic good fire dragon monster, which is cool. Which Konami, by the way, print a fire attribute dragon archetype already. I made a video about this before, but we actually have zero dragon fire archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh, which is absolutely crazy to me. We have wind dragons, dark dragons, light dragons, and shit, we even have some water dragons. We don't have a fire dragon archetype already, Konami? You're fucking up. Get that shit fixed. That's really all I had to say about that. Um, now let's actually get into the ultimate, uh, hey... We're getting Fire King support. What that means and how good is it going to be? Uh, without knowing what the cards are, what do Fire Kings absolutely need? They need a new modern day win condition. They're the original Unchained deck. That basically whole gimmick was that when they're destroyed by battle or card effects, they floated into other versions of themselves, which is really, really cool. Uh, there's definitely some really powerful Fire King monsters and cards. That are just like generic good stuff decks that support a lot of archetypes. From Cosmo to Ubel of all things. There's like some really, really cool synergies with Fire Kings. And I definitely want to see other archetypes that aren't necessarily Fire. Just get stronger because you can play them with Unchain again. Which is absolutely awesome. Uh, Unchain. Oh no, I think I said Unchain. My bad. Fire Kings is... Fire Kings and Unchained are literally two halves of the same coin. Unchained is literally just the modern day equivalent of Fire Kings. And I definitely want Fire Kings to be better than Unchained. So give Fire Kings some love and make them some modern day support. Give them the win condition. No making a link based win condition because that's literally Unchained. Give them like a, maybe a Synchro or XYZ route. Or I don't want to give you a Fusion because they have enough Fusion decks as it is. Just make the deck more relevant. Make it stronger. Make it have the ability. Maybe like you can blow some self from deck. I blow up cards from your deck in order to like trigger their effects. That'd be really, really cool. Other really like cool concepts are like revamping 
the uh, win conditions. You used to be able to blow up cards during the standby phase. Maybe you like quick effect blow up cards during the main phase. That'd be really awesome. And uh, maybe we like, make some like actually strong, like like searchable spell cards that are like rotas and other like strong things like that that can give the deck some more life. Because right now consistency is a big issue. There's not really a good way to shape your hand when it comes to the Fire Kings. So give us a win condition, at least a modern day win condition, and give us some more consistency, like emergency teleport like cards, or like rota like cards, just to boost like the like ability to get guys into rotation. That'd be really really cool, as like a modern day equivalent of Unchain, just like these two archetypes revolving around each other, playing like rekindling, and like really really powerful flame support. Shoot, maybe we can even play that new Fire Charmer girl that we got revealed. There's a lot of potential when it comes to Fire Kings that I can't wait to see going forward. And uh, that's really about it. I hope you all enjoy. Don't do anything stupid. And I'll see you all next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>